Hey guys, Burgonator here and welcome back to the channel. So, I was talking amongst my squad mates and I realized not a lot of them know one about the Warbond shop and also how it works. So in this quick video I would like to describe what the Warbond shop is, how to get Warbonds and what you can actually get out of them because it's actually pretty neat. So where to find the Warbond shop? Top right of your screen at the shop tab, you'll see there's a drop down and Warbond shop. Now, the Warbond shop is only active for the next 27 days and then it resets. I believe it's like two months or something, don't quote me on that. But the top right is the amount of Warbonds you currently have. And currently you can see the maximum is 3600. That never changes. So, where to get war bonds? Well, war bonds you get by doing the battle pass. The battle pass has challenges that you can do while doing the while just playing the game. And every couple of levels in the battle pass you unlock a new war bond shop level. So at the war bond you can see there's multiple different goodies you can get from boosters to backups that you can bring your favorite vehicle into the game in twice and even premium vehicles. Now, this the premium vehicles are normally lower uh, BR vehicles, but it's still a free premium vehicle you can get. Well, there are three requirements you need. One, you need to be at the appropriate shop level for the top tier prizes. That's going to be Warbond shop level six. Two, you need the right amount of war bonds and then three you need the right amount of special tasks now at the bottom right of my screen you'll see special task medals i currently have 12. so where do you get special tasks special tasks are the same as your daily tasks basically you can find them under the same uh, bar which is here and then daily tasks and special tasks. Now, how to do your special tasks? In the Warbond shop, top left side, you'll see there's a little thing called a special task. You buy it for 30 Warbonds and then it gives you the option to choose. I'll show you how it looks. So if I change task, you'll get the same um, Task select. So you will find this. Just be careful which task you actually select because you can see this one is for a realistic battle. So choose it for the mode you are going to play. Normally I do my special tasks on ground, uh, ground realistic battles. So this is ground arcade and this is ground realistic battles. So help allied players to destroy enemy the enemies. Uh, assist in destroying enemies. So this is quite an easy one. So just destroy or assist in destroying 35 enemies. So I'm going to select this one. And then you can see Vigilante is now currently active as my special task. So once I complete this special task, there's going to be a small chest. And also that helps towards your battle pass level. It gives you some points there as well. And then you will get a special task done. So the current top tier vehicles, if I can phrase it like that, is currently a Sherman for Sweden, a destroyer for America, and then the P-47 for Russia. I'm currently working towards getting this one because I do really like the P-47 and how it plays. So to rephrase how to get, let's say the P-47, I need to have the right warbond shop level which is 6 which I get at level 80 of the battle pass I need 3500 warbonds which I get by playing the battle pass and I need 15 special tasks done so this is my quick little video on the warbond shop and how to get the vehicles so guys if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe Feel free to leave a comment on anything you would like me to touch on because War Thunder is quite a, 
I don't want to say difficult game, but it has quite a steep learning curve and it takes quite a long while to learn everything there is about this game. Even myself, I am learning everything every day. Um, I've just recently started delving into air simulator battles and one of my squad mates is really taking me by the hand and uh, teaching me the ropes. So even myself, I do not know everything about this game, but we're here to learn. Just a quick shout out again to the 086 squadron. Uh, it's a South African group. Very nice bunch of guys. We've actually had a few guys joining uh, the squadron since I've brought out some videos. Uh, so yeah, feel free to join if you're South African. I will leave the Discord link in this video's uh, comment section. So feel free to join and hopefully I can see you guys there. Thank you, like, subscribe, Burgonator, out.